still there? Yeah, he's still there. Okay. I'm suspecting it's either a tree snake or a keelback by the fact it's eating a frog. He's just there. And the type of, oh, it's a keelback. Okay, cool. So, I'll just let him finish the frog. He's been at it for quite some time. And then, um, that's focused. Yeah, so on this overcasty day, yeah. when the frogs are active, it brings out like your frog sort of and wetland species. So tree snakes, keelbacks, and red belly black snakes all love frogs. Okay. And on an overcast day, yeah. they're quite active still. Okay. Not to say you won't get brown snakes or anything as well. Oh, poor frog. Well, we've had a black, we had a uh, red belly black last year. First kill back here, so in the five years I've been here, anyways, that was noticed. So kill back, no, no, they're yeah. actually harmless, they're non venomous, and they're the only native animal that can successfully eat a whole cane toad and, and be perfectly fine. So they're a pretty important little snake to have around. Yeah. He's backing up. He, he I'm gonna have to just maybe, he's, he might let this frog go, which he started up I don't. Here, um, really big I don't want him to regurgitate his food is what I was worried about, but I don't want him to get away either. So... He started up near the wheelie bins. We'll just keep track of him just in case. Yeah, good stuff. I appreciate that. So you got a hold of him, mate? Okay. Yeah, I got a hold of him, but he won't, he won't go anywhere fast because um, he's focused on this frog. But the thing is, when they get startled, they will sometimes regurgitate their food. Yeah. So... I just want to. Oh, there we go. Get away from me. That's what I was afraid of. So, is the frog going to survive? I don't have the best light, but you can see that it is quite brown in colour. It even has a bit of orange on its yeah. belly. They don't all have that. Sometimes they're just completely grey. Yeah. But they have really, I don't know if you can see it, but see the really defined scales? They've got a keel on each scale, yeah. which is where they get their name from, the keelback. And they're really rough to touch. They don't feel like a normal snake. Okay. I can hold it if you want a pat, and I can hold it so you can have a pat. They have these. They, their bodies look superficially similar to a highly venomous snake called the rough scaled snake. Yeah. Which the bodies almost look identical, and they also have keeled scales as well. So it's got round eyes, eh? Yeah, it does have round eyes. So that stops, like that shows the myth is wrong that yeah. that, that harmless snakes have that non-venomous snakes have cat eyes, yeah. um, a very closely related snake to this guy, the brown tree snake has cat eyes and it's venomous. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I just see it, snake's a snake and I don't want to... That's the best thing to do, yeah. yeah, snake is a snake and especially if it's brown in colour, people, you'd be surprised how many people call us and they've caught it themselves, yeah. even eastern brown snakes, and then they send us a photo going, what snake is this? And I was thinking, is it not it's common put sense? It down and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Someone did it on our street the other day, on our own street. I said, You've got a snake catcher like, on your street. Yeah. And you put that thing in a box yourself. Oh, seriously. But yeah, it is non venomous. It's in the family of snakes called colubrids. So, same as tree snakes. Yeah. And um, yeah, as I said, the brown tree snake, northern tree snake, slaty grey. I'll put him into the bag, I suppose. Yep. But I just wanted to get a nice shot of this one because he's a rather brown specimen. Yep. And it does, they do have that sort of head. They don't look like your typical non-venomous snake, how it's really sort of heavy bodied. Yep. Ben, do you want to pass it to me? Ah, uh, to the bag, nope. <laughs> he should go in on his own. He'll find it as, thank you, as this, like a nice safe spot to retreat to because He's probably confused, he probably thinks we're trying to eat him up for lunch. He thinks he's going to end up just like the frog. Well, he will, he'll end up getting away. So, there you go, mate. Not going to find much better of a spot for a keel back than here. Okay. So, keel back. Hey. I'm really enjoying hanging out with these snakes. They weren't something that we used to get back in Stanthorpe. So it's pretty special, even though they are just a, you know, the, nothing gnarly. Just standard, nice little non-venomous snake. But before he gets away on us, I want to just 
show you because these guys this one is quite a brown specimen which is why peop the people mistook it for a brown snake if you can see that face in the pattern the keeled scales that it has certainly not a snake to do you any harm at all in fact they do us so much good by actually being able to eat a cane toad so very important little snakes for us to have around the keelback they're um, beautiful little snakes look at the under the orange I'm not sure if the camera is getting that I can't really see the screen because of the light so I'm hoping that you guys can see the orange coloration on this belly and again no belly spots like on our highly venomous snakes like browns and taipans does have this orange tone but no spots by any means at all so it's been quite gentle and well behaved which is quite typical of snakes which our long-term followers and other if you've been looking up studying your snakes through other sources as well I'm sure that you've learned that there is much more to snakes than actually biting and snakes don't really mean anyone any harm at all they're just misunderstood little creatures and if we can learn to appreciate them it makes it much better for everyone involved because like it or not we coexist with snakes snakes are everywhere they're in all different habitats they live in the cities they live in the towns they live in the bush it doesn't really matter where you are in the country you will get snakes okay and in Australia we do have some of the we, we do have the world's most highly toxic most highly venomous snakes in the world here in Australia so it probably helps to at least learn to identify the common snakes of your area this is one so if you do see a dangerous snake you know to be careful and two if you see one like this that may be a brown colored snake but you can learn that of course indeed this thing is not only is it not a threat to us in, in our surroundings it's actually an asset it's a benefit to have around and he was a bit freaked out at first because he thought he was going to end up like the frog but now that he's seen that we're being friendly he's being friendly back aren't you mate hey you beautiful little snake but he, he oh i don't they freak out around the head i don't want to spook him that would, all that trust would build up will be gone if I touch him too close to the face but you can see the pond there so he's trying to get to the wetland so we'll go chuck him in there but yeah beautiful snakes absolutely gorgeous snakes we'll go take him over it okay hopefully we've got some good footage of this one because they normally take off real quick which I assume he's going to do once he can see the, the water and everything Beautiful snakes, though, eh? Stunningly, uh, like pattern. Nice features. Straight in that water. Just as comfortable in the water as they are on the land. Actually, got us. He's, got, he's going into the sludge and then his head's poking up coming out of a different spot you would just think that's a stick wouldn't you you just think that's a stick coming past you'd not think oh there's a snake you know, blended into its surroundings it is Where's the snake? Here he goes. Mate, you'll get another frog down here, don't worry about that. Got plenty of froggies. That's unreal. <laughs> 